Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well, there's lots of the news today, including some really good news for me, uh, and also some weather updates that is really starting to affect some cruise ships. First off, we have Tropical Storm Grace is no longer a tropical storm. She is now a official hurricane with sustained winds up to 80 miles per hour heading directly towards Mexico, which will affect a few stops for different cruise ships like the Allure of the Seas, the Symphony of the Seas, the Adventure of the Seas, and I think the Independence of the Seas will make an announcement tomorrow about her stop on Friday. Instead of stopping in Cozumel, Mexico, those stops will now become sea days. Also affected is two of Carnival's cruise ships and the other cruise lines are keeping an eye out as well in case the hurricanes can always slow down or speed up and you don't want to be anywhere near them on a cruise ship if you run into, into the path of a hurricane. A lot of people pre-pandemic used to, we would see stories now that people are really upset and demanding refunds and things like this because they're gonna miss a cruise port. And I don't think we're gonna see that this time around as people are just happy to be back on a cruise ship and they understand uh, after seeing uh, what happened with the pandemic, Getting out of the way of a hurricane just seems like a very common sense thing to do. It doesn't seem as dramatic of an issue as it used to along, you know, pre-pandemic times. Boy, we would hear some, you know, oh, we're going to miss one stop on our 15-day cruise. I want all my money back. <laughs> Those kind of stories. And I don't think we're going to have that this time. Also, out of Boston Harbor, it, we will be starting to see a cruise ship sailing out of Boston Harbor shortly. That'll mark the first cruise ship sailing out of Boston, which is good. I want to see more and more ships starting to sail out of the East Coast. People were wondering how many ships are actually sailing now in the world. Well, officially, it's over half the world fleet now is officially set sail once again. So it's only going up from here. It looks like cruising is finally back. And even with the pandemic going on, it's managing to survive. Let's fingers crossed that this just keeps getting better and better and doesn't have a, a really severe turn anytime in the future. Now I, I did have some good news today. I, I did see some good news, uh, but quickly before I do that, let me just invite you to to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It'll notify you of all the upcoming videos, keep you up to date with all the cruise news, the cruise blogs, and anything that happens in the industry. And I would be really, really appreciative. It really does help the channel. So what was my good news? Yes, that's right. I've had some bad news in the last little while. I had to, you know, get stuck in Florida because my test was lost. I had to pay more money to stay at a hotel. I'm supposed to get the refund. I think I will. Everything looks good. I had my my Mardi Gras cruise canceled because they weren't stopped testing people getting off the ship and I need to test to fly home. And I couldn't get another flight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, my buddy Tony today uh, texted me and says, hey, Don, I just got an offer to upgrade to a mini suite on our cruise on the Majestic Princess. And I said, oh, and he told me the price. And I said, yeah, you know what? Go for that. Now him and I are side by side in our cabins, which would mean now he's gonna move someplace else, uh, which is okay. But I said, you know, for that price, absolutely get that deal. And so I'm sitting here going, well, I didn't get an offer and I didn't get an offer. So I went and checked the price of the cruise and I was surprised. I was able to get the upgrade as well. In fact, I went from a regular balcony cabin to a mini suite cabin and not obstructive view or anything like that in a, a prime location mini suite cabin for $300 less than I had paid for the regular balcony. Whew. 
Thank you, Tony. Thanks, buddy, for sending me that email because I would not have checked. I'm only, I have so much on my plate right now trying to get everything done before our cruise. Uh, I, I haven't been checking my own cruises. I've been checking other people's cruises and clients. So, uh, yeah, I, I almost let that slip through my, but it's just, a, it's a good word of advice. Once a week, Sign into your cruise. See if the price has changed. See, especially as you're getting within that three month period of your cruise sailing. Not a lot happens a year out, a year and a half away, two years out. Not a lot of price changes are going on. But once you get within that three month window, you can start to see some very dramatic prices. Now, if you've paid your cruise off in price and in, in, in full, Sometimes you aren't like, oh, look, the cruise is half price now. You're not going to get half your money back. A lot of times what you'll end up doing is they will upgrade you to a bigger cabin for the same price. That's normally what will happen. In my case, this particular cruise, I booked a travel agent rate as I'm a travel agent, yet the travel agent rates went down. And so, and they gave me a hard time because I was on my website and I was looking at it and I, I saw the price and I saw the price of my account and I said, that's different, that's a better deal. So I called them up and they were quoting me higher prices than I was seeing online. And I said, nope. And I walked them through it. I talked them through, this is the price I'm getting, this is the taxes I'm seeing, this is my transfers, this is my insurance, et cetera, et cetera. And it took almost 45 minutes but I finally got that price that I was looking at. So yeah, I saved some money tonight. I'm in a bigger cabin. I let Tony know what cabin I'm in. So hopefully they will put him beside my, my cabin because the one beside me was available. And uh, yeah, a little bit of good news going to Alaska. I can certainly use some good news in cruising these days. Well. I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.